Hey y'all, welcome back to Gangster Goodies Kitchen. It's Sunday again. I know my voice is a little raspy, so you guys will have to forgive that. Uh, hopefully I'm loud enough so that you can hear me. Um, today we're going to show you how we really make our fiery peach wings. Um, we showed you back in January on the top of the stove how we do them in the winter time, but our friends and family love them on the grill. So we are gangster grilling today. So uh, if you come a little closer, I'll show you what we're doing. Uh, we have chicken wings. You know, everybody that knows me knows that I absolutely love chicken wings. All types, all flavors. So here we go. So the one of the things that we're going to do is uh, we're going to season them. I've seasoned them a little bit, but not too much because I wanted to show you kind of what they're going to look like. So today we used, um, we're going to use Mike P's Spicy. So we're going to put that on there. So this is Mike P's Spicy Seasoning. Hey Mike P, how are you today? I hope you're out grilling and having a great time. And a little garlic powder. And so you just kind of, again, I seasoned, pre-seasoned them a little bit, but I wanted you to see kind of what we were using to season the fiery peach wings. The other items that you see here are products that we use to make the sauce. So the sauce for the fiery peach wings has peach preserves, okay? So get a little bit of peach preserves. Some people like it sweeter than others. So I would say start off with like a fourth of a cup, okay, of the peach preserves. And then we have hot chili paste, okay? And we also put a little, we put two tablespoons of butter and Worcestershire sauce. And you're going to heat that up on the stove. You're gonna liquefy that so that when your wings are ready, when they're basically done, you're going to baste your chicken wings with those. And so here, the grill is hot, it's ready to roll. So we're gonna put our chicken wings on here. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I can. I sure hope you can. And it smells so good. And so, of course, your grill is hot, it's ready to roll, and once you place your chicken wings on the grill, then you just, you close the grill. Um, I have it, uh, the air, how you open and close your air vents is gonna impact how fast or slow your chicken or whatever you're cooking is going to cook. So I've got it kind of maybe a third open. Because uh, I want it to cook, I want it to get hot, I want it to sear it, uh, but at the same time, I do not want it to overcook, okay? So, uh, as the grill is heating up, that's the perfect time for you to go back in the house and get your sauce ready. And again, your sauce is going to have peach preserves, it's going to have Worcestershire sauce, and you can use hot chili paste. You can find hot chili paste in Asian markets, Indian markets, anywhere they sell ethnic foods or ethnic uh, products, that sort of thing. And you may be able to hear the kids in my neighborhood there in the park. You know what? It's Sunday and it's beautiful here in Kansas City. So there you have it. At least this time my grandson's not screaming. So if you step right over here, I'll show you kind of what we paired it with and what it looks like when your fiery peach wings are all done. So if you come right on over. Here we have our signature fiery peach wings. And so we paired it with, oh my God, those look so good, y'all. So we just grilled, uh, we have a grill wok and we put uh, broccoli, a little bit of olive oil and uh, fresh chopped garlic in there so that, you know, you kind of toss it, you know, maybe five minutes, it's ready to go. And so, Again, the fiery peach wings, we topped it with a little bit of green onion uh, just to give some color and a little extra flavor. 
So again, today we gangster grilled, and I'm gonna show you, again, we're gonna go back to the grill so that you can kind of see what the chicken is looking like. So once the chicken gets to a place where it is, you know, maybe 75, 80% done, then you're gonna move the chicken to the cool side of the grill. So if you notice, on the cool side of the grill, there are no charcoals, uh, so that you can have the opportunity to do that. So things can kind of cool down and cook, still cook, but not cook at a high heat. So these have a little ways to go before we can move them to the cool side. But once they move to the cool side, you have your sauce and you know what i'm gonna go get it so you can see what the sauce looks like once it's melted down once the peach preserves and the chili hot chili paste is cooled down hold on just a second you may want to look at the finished product for a second Not sure why I really didn't have this out. I do have a little bit of the sauce on the finished uh, plate, but this is what the sauce looks like. Once you melt it down, you're gonna melt down those peach preserves, the um, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of butter, and the hot chili paste. And so that kind of lets you know what it looks like and what you can kind of expect on the consistency. And so again, once your chicken is about 75, 80% done, you're gonna move it to the cool side and you're going to baste your chick chicken with your fiery peach sauce. So, we so appreciate each of you for taking the time to see what we have to say, to see what we have to share. Again, we use uh, Mike P's spicy this is the first time i've used the spicy so if you're interested in buying this product check out our blog um gangstergoodieskitchen.com we will have